Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today we are getting our revenge upon the Emerald Kongalala that caused us problems a while back. Because it's our only key quest we have left. In this rank, that is. Um, where is it? Did I go over it at some point? Like, for reals, where is it? There it is. I must have missed it. Yeah, we're gonna kill this thing, then it'll be dead, and we'll be happy. That is the exact order in which things will happen. Pretty sure this thing actually started further north than this, so. Just gonna make sure it's not in this area. And then. Oh. Well, I guess I'll move one further area so this cat stops following me. And then I'll Psycho Serum. Okay. Well, then I guess we just got to go through here again. There's our quarry. Unfortunately, it has some little friends who we're going to have to deal with so they can't do that anymore. One down. We've got better armor and weaponry than the last time we attempted this quest, so it should go just fine. We also remembered to eat this time. Had we remembered that last time, we might have actually succeeded. So basically, we've got everything going for us, is what I'm trying to say. I imagine that Vespoid's going to be a problem at some point, but it isn't one right now, so we can hold off on punishing it. Though if it gets in the way of my hammer, it's not like I'm going to suddenly somehow stop my attack to preserve it. Well, didn't hit anything with that golf swing. Also, you can tell that this guy's noises came from a stock archive because the sound it makes when it does those big jumps is the same sound that Boomas make in Fantasy Star Online. When killed, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, I brought deodorant for that. Boop. I really should have saved that for if I took one more hit just to really make sure that I actually used it when it was needed instead of like now when it isn't super necessary. love to break his face and his claws, and maybe his tail. I guess breaking his tail is better than having him eat the mushroom. I forgot how big a difference health recovery items improved actually makes on these mega potions. Yeah, that's... 
definitely the sound that boomas make when you kill them. I mean, PSO on the GameCube was the first game that I spent more than a thousand hours on, so I heard that noise a lot. And I say again, whoever decided there should be this much foliage here needed to chill. Um, oh, the sparkly came from a cat. That's right. Those do drop sparkly sometimes. Keeps getting up right before my hammer can hit his face. It's a jerk move. Yeah, even with my better armor, that raging charge still does damage. Also, give that back. I know Psycho Serums aren't super valuable, but I still don't like when things get stolen from me that wouldn't be stolen from me at the end of the quest anyway. the face with the golf swing that time. That's always pleasant. For me, not for him. I can't imagine having one's face tagged with a golf swing would be pleasant for anyone. And apparently we managed to sweep ourselves into the range of that flatus. cat there. Now seems a good time to sharpen. Where are you going, buddy? He's going to a place with small congas, so we're going to have to deal with them. I don't like having to deal with them. That takes time and effort. Those are like the two things I least like spending against things that I don't actually care about. quite get out of the way. But at least now we've got a chance to do this without needing to care. Hey, buddy. I don't know why you decided to send that backwards. I was directly in front of you. Hey, I managed to get both the conga and the conga lala with that, though. Not for free. Thank goodness he was just going for the cat. Ow. Oh, he's eating his shroom. I hope that flinch 
Wow, the belly push actually does that much damage. I hope the flinch managed to be in time to prevent him from gaining the mushroom's effects. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the base camp here. Really low health, soiled, supplies just arrived. Seems like a good idea to me. Especially with how few deodorants we can bring on any given quest in this game. Five instead of ten can make a pretty big difference against monsters that use stink so liberally. What do you want to bet my paintball wears off while I'm in this menu? And then he leaves before we can get to him. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. And let's actually just toss this on the ground so that we can get one more. And hey, the paintball's still good. That's fine by me, though I am going to repaint him upon my re-entry just to be safe. Here, have some paint. Well, that is one downside of him not having his mushroom anymore, is he can throw poop. And the fact that he can split his throw is also a little annoying, and I think I'm going to go use the bed again. Because it's right there. And, again, limited deodorant. Best used when you're not so close to the bed. Because somehow beds make you less stinky. If that worked in real life, there would be a lot fewer problems at conventions. Well, at least now it's in an area without little congas. Unfortunately, those Vespoids are definitely going to be problems. And also, ow. Well, at least unlike before we changed our armor, the uh, raging dash isn't more than half our health. out of rage. And that's his first time using a breath attack this hunt. Which I suppose means that he did in fact get the effects of his mushroom. Or perhaps he ate another mushroom while we were out of the area. Ow. I would love it if he just died soonish. Or if his face got broke and then he died soonish. Or if he got KO'd and got his face broke and died soonish. Well, there's the face break. I feel like we're a decent amount of the way towards a KO. Somehow got rotated there so that we weren't actually putting this on the face. Yeah, if he could die soon, that would be great.
Maybe a claw break. I don't think we've gotten either of those yet. So it looks like most of our hits go towards his side or his face when we try and get near the claws. Okay. a knockdown. Come on, game. Um, that went a bit far forward. Not fond of deodorant obscuring so much of my vision. Almost ran into that. Uh, I really don't like how when he's throwing his poops, he can throw them either really close or pretty far. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to tell which it'll be until they actually leave his tail. I would much rather be able to tell by the windup where the throw is going to go. So I guess that might not be a reasonable expectation, considering if you could tell by the wind-up where a throw was going to go, baseball would probably be a much easier game. Wait, seriously? He must be almost dead if he's leaving that soon. Or maybe just really hungry? Well, probably hungry. Yeah, definitely hungry. Oh, hey. Take a knockdown. Ow. Well, that was certainly a health negative exchange. Close. And again, with the jumping on me, right as I finish with my healing. Thanks, Conga. I, I needed that. Yeah, not that time, buddy. But thanks, Conga. If this guy could just keel over sometime soon, that'd be great. I wouldn't complain. Okay, leaving isn't exactly keeling over, but it at least gets you away from the Congos. Whoa. He hopped two areas. And it's more than two load zones because he's a jerk. And I guess maybe he sleeps down there? I hope. Because I wouldn't mind being able to just drop my hammer all over his face if he's sleeping.
He is sleeping. Seriously. Way to wake it up, cat. Well, it doesn't look like our cat has doubled the amount of time that was left in the quest. Just increased it slightly. Because it would have been possible for him to have doubled it if the thing had died to one super pound. And also, wow, that claw attack does damage. Ow. Yeah, please no with all the killing. I'd much rather remain alive, thank you very much. There we go. Hopefully I won't need to do any more healing. I mean, sure, I, I have the resources. I just don't want to use them. Not on a monster that's already fallen asleep. Get out of here, Remobra. That's right, that does tremor. Cat, don't have your pair of rock on me. Oh, good job. I guess that makes up for it. Not the best thing we could have gotten, but it's a thing we could have gotten. Oh boy, a Lug Pelagus thing. And let's gather from the dung pile because it's here. Don't really have any other reason. Just, it exists, might as well. Ooh, wyvern droppings. get any spider webs, but I think we're actually pretty okay on those. Yes, our Urgent, which is a Narga Kuga. And that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we take on that Narga Kuga. See you then, friends. <laughs>